I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. I'm going to talk to you guys about lifting weights for boxing training or fighting training, MMA training. Uh, I think it's okay to use weights, to use resistance training for strength and conditioning purposes. Using weights or using resistance can definitely uh, increase your speed, increase your power, give you endurance. Um, so I, I like it for those things. Uh, will it give you more punching power? I don't really think so. I think that comes with technique. Will it give you better footwork because you have stronger legs? Mm, a little bit yes and no, uh, because that kind of thing comes with technique and flow and rhythm and just being skillful at using your body. It's not so much that you need strong leg muscles to move you quick. You know, quickness is just being able to control your body well. And I think power punching is being able to control your body well. Not so much about muscles. Some things about lifting weights, I would say, if you're gonna do it, is to focus on the bigger muscles, okay? So instead of like doing a full on, like getting a set for your forearms, and a set for your calves, and a set for your toes, and all the tiny little muscles, work on the main structure, the big muscle structures. Your core, legs, your glutes, your quads, um, chest and lats, back, all right? Those things. Also, I would say focus on functional exercises. Personally, I prefer getting getting a weight, a medicine ball, and doing these kind of like trunk twists, you know, or a plyometric type stuff where you're on one leg and then you like jump up or jump down. Uh, I prefer functional exercises. Uh, to just lay down and then bench 300 pounds, I don't think it's as functional. In, in a real boxing match, you need to be able to move your body. So more moving type exercises than stationary, isolated, one track, one track, uh, one vector of movement prefer moving more, more functional stuff. Also, I would say uh, don't lift too heavy, you know? Don't lift too heavy. The resistance is there to help you train the movement, to help you build coordination and muscle memory, good timing and trigger for the movement. For example, let's say I'm doing a bench press, right? This movement itself is very easy. So even if I add a, a ton of weight to it, I wouldn't say that's making me better at the movement. I prefer, like I said, medicine ball. I, I like this. I want this movement. Because not everybody's good at this. You'd be surprised. Some people, they go to the left all the way, and the right, they only go a little bit. So putting on resistance may help them free their body and use that full movement. Okay? So I, I would think of it more in terms of that. Use the resistance to help you develop stronger coordination and performance for the movement rather than to, to pick a very simple movement and then lift a thousand pounds. A very simple movement, lift a thousand pounds. That... Lastly is be careful that you're not making yourself stiff in the process or you're limiting your range of motion. So stretch, move, flow, do drills, open, swing your arms around, swing your legs around, okay? Do a lot of stretches. Make sure you keep everything nice and loose. You don't want your muscles to become all balled up tight and then you, be, you become this kind of uh, stiff, tense sort of fighter. You want to become loose and relaxed, powerful, but still able to move in all directions with your full range of motion without having to use so much uh, energy. That, that would be my, uh, my tips if you're going to lift weights for boxing training. You can definitely do it. It can definitely uh, make you a, a, a better athlete. In terms of making you a more skilled fighter, you still have to go back to technique for that. I'm Johnny from Expert Boxing. Check out my website, expertboxing.com, for more great boxing tips. Also, go to my YouTube channel, subscribe at Expert Boxing. Thanks for watching.